Eve this evening as we join the younger members of the Royal Family at Alton Towers in Staffordshire for the Grand Knockout Tournament. Noble spectator, lay aside all worries, cast aside all cares, and travel with us back, back through time to a magical era when England's isle was green and pleasant, and when every glade echoed to the sound of the chart topping favourite, Hey, nonny, nonny, no. And when every heroic knight, for the love of his damsel and glory of his king, fought in mighty tournament. <laughs> will now open the games. gentlemen and lowly ranks of rather grubby but enthusiastic rubble. <laughs> Myself and the fair Lady Knock bid you a warm welcome to the Grand Knockout Tournament. On this day, by noble decree, we call forth the mighty from this and many lands to compete in games whose grandeur, glory and overwhelming silliness will be forever remembered. For the entertainment of us all, let you fall repeatedly on your bottoms this day. <laughs> and so that your achievement should not go unnoticed in the hurly and the burly, let me introduce three roistering knaves and one rollicking maiden to help you on your way. Firstly, the squire of cheerful countenance, Master Les Dawson, assisted by the maid of the genteel voice and dignified demeanor, Mistress Sue Pollard. Together, together with the wizard supreme, Master Paul Daniels, and last but by no means quietest, jolly jester and legendary chronicler of the tournaments of Knock, Master Stuart Hall. <laughs> But first and foremost, I would like you to bid welcome to the four teams led by four members of our gracious royal family. His Royal Highness, the Grand Young Duke of York, marching his troops to the top of the hill and wherever else he can in aid of the World Wildlife Fund. The fair Duchess of York, leading forth her heroes on behalf of the International Year of Shelter for the Homeless. Rubble, rubble. 
His Royal Highness, His Royal Highness, the tantalizingly eligible Prince Edward, coaxing courage. On behalf of the Duke of Edinburgh's Award Scheme International Project 1987. And Her Royal Highness, the Fair Princess Royal. Spurring on her champions for the Save the Children Cup. You have now distributed your favours. I shall then ask the team captains, first of all, is Royal Highness the Duke of York. Yes. Your motley crew, sir. Can you describe them in a few words? We are excellent. Fighting fit, raring to go, and we have the most amazing mascot, which nobody else has got, called a panda, to support us on our way. And, of course, Nigel Mansell, Annika Rice, and they call themselves this morning the animals. Does it still hold true? Absolutely. The pandas, the pandas. The pandas, not the animals, the pandas. Well, you know. Thank you, thank you sir. And good luck. And... And now... No. Our Royal Highness, the Duchess of York, Mum, how is the state of your health? Because it was inclement this morning, I'm afraid. It's uh, very good, thank you very much. But everyone else is going to suffer after we win. Will the throat hold out? Oh, of course it will hold out. Now, what are the ace cards that you're holding, Mum? Well, we don't, we don't have any cards because basically we're the best. We're the best blue bandits there are. <laughs> OK? Hey, hey, you. Hey, hey, give me an L. 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 Give me a U. 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 Give me an E. E. What do you got? Big Bad Blue Bandits! <laughs> Meet Loaf and Pam Stevenson. And now... And now... The undoubted favourites to win uh, the tournament, His Royal Highness, the Prince Edward, sir. Well, favourites, have we? Ah, well, that's because we've got a pretty good team. Yeah. They're all... Yeah. And they're all fit. Yeah. The, Tudor, the Tudor book is heavy at, uh, at six to four against. Well, that sounds pretty good odds. That sounds pretty good. But it looks a very, very strong team laden with, I see, Olympic athletes like Steve Cram, Cesar Sanderson, Sarah Hardcastle. Oh. How do you account for this apparent ringing of your team? No, not at all. Not, no ringing at all. No, no, it was just the way the cookie crumbled. <laughs> <laughs> we shall now move on then. Good luck! What are we going for? Go, go, go! go, go. Yeah. Such ferocity have they shown the three royals. I approach a royal highness, the Princess Royal, with some trepidation, ma'am. Your, where are your tactics? Oh, very cool, calm, collected. <laughs> All this quasi-excitement doesn't really matter a damn to you, then? No, we're the strong, silent types. <laughs> the strong, silent types? Is, is that going to describe your tactics, strong and silent on the games, or will, it, will there be excitement that loose eventually? No, not until later, when we won. <laughs> and this is how she approaches her games all the time, constant in the thought of winning. Could you possibly describe one or two of your team, like Emlyn Hughes? He's hardly laid back. No, this is a team effort. Um, I describe them as the Red Perils. <laughs> the Red Perils. Have you a war cry for us, Mum? No, no. I told you we're the strong, silent type. <laughs> <laughs> the strong, silent type. Silent. Thank you. Silent. Silent. S. Silent. S. 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 Yes, I will. S for silent. Thank you. Good luck to you. Good luck. And thank you very much. A round of applause for the 14s. Come on. And now, your Royal Highness and the team fly to the tribunes. You are dismissed to the tribunes. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to welcome Master Alid Jones, the herald of the tournament. If you please, Alid Jones, round of applause. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, the first game in the Grand Knockout Tournament is Call Out the Guards. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, how is this for the gauntlet thrown down in this Royal Tournament? The Duchess of York is playing a joker on the first game! And... Oh. 
quiet at one, quiet. He's a very laid back, low key joker, Mum. Very low joker. A very low joker. We're having too many jokes for Mum. <laughs> Shall we wish them both the best of luck with a hearty round of applause, if you please? It gives me great pleasure on this day of days, which, with a bit of luck, will lead to a night of nights to open this grand tournay. The games will commence with the dropping of this favour given me by the bold Sir Lancelot, he who loves nothing more than the roar of the crowd and the smell of the liniment. <laughs> So it's Cliff Richard attaching the rope to the cannon. Cliff Richard running back. And over the capstan, Kevin Klein, Jackie Stewart, and Emlyn Hughes. For the Princess Royal. And for the yellow team of Prince Edward, everything is color coded, of course, in this great knockout tournament. Eddie Grant, Peter Blake, Duncan Dutu. And the blue team, the Duchess of York, Brian Cooper, Steve Cawthon, champion dog Viv Richards, leaping over the capstan athletically. And finally, on the green team, for the Duke of York, George Lazenby, Gary Lineker, the greatest footballer in the world, Michael Palin. The Reds on the Joker, if they win, of course. As you know, knockout buffs, the points automatically double. And they're winning. The Reds are winning. The back wheels of the cannon over the line. When the front wheels are over, the Royal Highness, the Princess Anne, fires the cannon. Fires the cannon. We're waiting for Prince Edward to fire his cannon. One more pull, sir. One more pull and over. And it's... And the Princeton. They celebrate. <laughs> Gary Lineker's got his skirt tight. Oh, and he's showing his drawers. Gary Lineker. Hanukkah. Oh, this is a case. A case for treasure. Oh. A case. Well, this is what <laughs> well, now, my next job is to introduce the judges. And who better to judge this royal knockout tournament but the four dukes of uh, the realm? First of all, I want to welcome the Duke of Westminster, if you please. Gerald, I think, is slightly nutty like the rest of us, would you say? Yes, I am. Yeah, I've got to be here on a sort of rather cloudy day. Um, but uh, I must say, that first game didn't quite go as per rehearsal, did we it? Shall find, we shall find <laughs> out. Secondly, welcome, please, to the Duke of Gloucester. Yeah. Good afternoon. Are you looking forward to the event, sir? Yes, indeed. Are you going to be a strict disciplinarian? Oh, I intend to be, yes. There's a potential for a lot of cheating here. <laughs> did you hear that? Potential for cheating. We've already seen it. Michael Brandon's already made one protest. Now welcome, please, uh, the Duke of Roxburgh, Guy. Yes, Stuart. And your attitude to our games, Guy? We're delighted the red team won at the first game, so things are going well. You're supposed to be unbiased. But I am. He is unbiased, but he wants to win. And finally, welcome, please, the Duke of Abercorn. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Are you, are you going to look forward to this? Very much indeed, but I'm already sulking because my team, I'm judging, has come second. Come second. So you've got four biased team judges. But now... We had a problem with the scoreboard. We had to have somebody big and strong and masterful to manipulate round this tournament area. So we chose twice the world's strongest man, three times the strongest man in Europe. Welcome, please, Geoffrey Capes. 
And our chief judge, our chief judge, I'd say, can you adjudicate on our first game, if you please, sir? Yes, can Mr. we just Paul point Daniels. out to all of you at home, I'm uh, Paul Daniels, this is Jeff Gibbs, because we look a lot alike. <laughs> now then. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. <laughs> oh, no, way. And now, as we can see here, two teams played the Jokers, the red and the blue team, all right? And the slowest team was the yellow one, all right? Prince Edward's slowest with a time of 141. And they only get one point for that, one shield for that. And, of course, this was, uh, yes, this is the next team, 128. Very close. It was very close, this, because... Yeah, it was the Duke of York, 128. Uh, somebody popped, Duchess of York, 127. Somebody popped their gun, you know, without crossing the line. We watched that. Oh, dear. Anyway, yes, 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 yes. So, anyway, they get two points for that. Now, these played the Jokers, so, although they were second, they doubled up, they get six points. But the winners are on this game, uh, with the Joker in, that doubles up to eight points, it's the Red Save the Children Farm Team! Roll Harris, the British Royal, takes the lead! And I think... And there they are on the master scoreboard. And now I think that Lord Letcherlock Dawson and Mistress Pollard have something in store. And now a musical prelude to introduce the Asda Marathon. Your company. <laughs> what a wondrous team we have. First of all, the winsome Toy Wilcox. What well, think of this pebble? Well, we've been training in shark-infested waters, so we're pretty calm about this. Yeah, so you work for London Weekend over there. And next we have Barry McGuigan, a man of pugilist. <laughs> this is quite a different kettle of fish for you, Barry. What think of our chances, my boy? Uh, well, I was going to get over the other side without Tom throwing the ham at me. Uh, he hit me twice this morning in practice, so I'm just want, <coughs> waiting to get over here. And if, if I don't get over, I'm going to get him and, and drown. Well, you could call it an ambush. <laughs> Sorry about that, Barry. Christopher Reeve. <laughs> a man who flies in most of his film, but this time he's not had a drink. How do you think? <laughs> I'm, I'm in trouble here. This is not my element. <laughs> oh, he's not your element. Well, that was straight to the point. Over there, Christopher. <laughs> Last but never leave, Steve Cram. A man with the fastest... The fastest closed pegs in the world. Now, what do you think, Steve? Well, I think I'm definitely going to go in. <laughs> well, I think you're going to go in, man. Right, take your places, please. <laughs> On the groaning table is that wonderful man from the valleys who sings those wonderful songs, a man who has graced our byways as a minstrel, Tom Jones. <laughs> he looks like an overdue bank statement. And the ever-lovely Jenny Agatha. <laughs> With your permission, Lord Knock, may I commence the marathon? Three, two, one. Oh. And they're off. Here we go. Come along, Mistress. Oh, she's doing very well, Toya. Excuse very me. Very well, dear. Well done. Oh, yes, splendid. Splendid. Yes, oh, well, well done, my love. Come on, Barry, you can do it. Next you wait, your moustache could be a disadvantage. Oh, yeah, oh. Come on, Christopher. Think of an, an Oscar for this. You can do it. Oh, he's wonderful. Oh. Ah, Steve. What an excellent movement. Oh, you can do it, Steve. Oh. Toya. Wonderful. Come on. Look at the agility there in those legs. Muscles are tight. Oh. Well done. This time, Barry, you can do it, Barry. Come on, Barry. <laughs> Barry, come on. You're not there for comic relief. Come on, Barry. Show you can do it. Come on. You can do it. Come on, Barry. Not much longer to go. Oh, no. And it's Christopher Reeve again with a lovely leg action, ripping tightly to the pole. No wonder this man is a superman. Well done, hey! From the colonists. You'll be delighted to know, my lord, the yellow team scored four. Four points, four well done. Four points for yellow. Oh, One so moment. proud we are. And this marathon, of course, was the first heat of the Asda marathon. <laughs> God-fearing noble folk, 
An eerie tale will now unfold as we meet the ghost of Alton Towers. Oh. Terror written on all these faces. Stricken, give me some horror again. <sighs> Wait till I unfold the story for you. But first of all, we have two damsels in somewhat distress. Debbie Flintoff, who was the holder of the Commonwealth Gold 400 meters record. But what is your real claim to fame, Debbie? Uh, probably the two gold medals that I won at Edinburgh. And your eight Commonwealth records? And my eight Commonwealth records, yes. And she goes like the speed of the wind, <laughs> representing the Princess Royal. But now... Representing the Duke of York, Judy Simpson. Hello. And Terry. Oh, don't be so bashful. This is it's a knockout. <laughs> the, right, the holder of the UK heptathlon record. And what else, Judy? Um, lots of different things. I've got a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games for heptathlon as well. Now then, we are playing our joker. Why, why Prince Edward, are you playing your joker on this game? Tell me. Ah, oh, because we've got a very slick ghost. Who is this a ghost? Oh, well, it? I can't tell you that. I can't tell you that. We will have a reveal later on. And the Duke of Yorkshire. We have an exceedingly fast hopper. <laughs> a fast hopper in Judy Simpson. And you're backing, of course, on the ghost being slower. Oh, yes. Without more ado, then, there will be a puff of smoke and the headless ghost of Alton Towers will appear. Ghosts are appearing. Screams, please. <laughs> and when the ghost reached the top step, the girls are off and running. They've got to be caught to catch the flowers, first of all. One flower, two flowers. Debbie Flintoff's going to be caught. She's caught. Debbie Flintoff's caught for all the Commonwealth goals. Debbie's gone. And Judy Simpson's hopping along. Judy Simpson's got to the end of the course. Give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> oh, now then, look, now then, but did you know who was in the ghost costume? No idea. You're going down to embrace Judy. Meanwhile, <laughs> let's find out if... And the headless ghost of Alton Towers, none other than the greatest cricketer in the world, Viv Richards, welcome him. <laughs> but the Duke of York... The Duke of York playing a very, very handy joker indeed. Now, what was Judy Simpson's time? That's going to be par for the course. What a good joker to play. Master Paul Daniels. Well, um, as I do a detour around Jeff Cape's stomach, what we've got here is... He's um, not going to like that, and you're going to slap on the head. I know, but uh, I, I can run very quick. Now, listen, um, as you can see, we've got an 18-second finish here, and we've got someone here who didn't finish, as we sadly saw. And they have got three roses, flowers collected. You've got part of the course. Oh, yes. Absolutely. And by Spookies. We're going to bring the ghosts. Three, two, one, Spookies. So, for the Duchess of York, Tamara McKinney is on her way. For Prince Edward, look at Sarah Hardcastle going like a bomb, Sarah. She's never going to be caught. Neither is Tamara. Tamara McKinney, extremely fit. She's never, never, ever going to be caught. Tamara. And Sarah. <laughs> well, who was in the ghost costume, I asked myself? Who was pursuing Tamara? Let's have a look. Let's have a look at their debris. Ah, so it's two skiers together. Steve Podborski, come on. Well, once again, it wasn't quite right on the day for you. No, not so far, but I think our team, Team Panda, has a great chance of moving ahead soon. Let me ask the Duchess of York, were you pleased with that performance, ma'am? Were you pleased? Oh, yeah, it's brilliant. <laughs> Do I have to say anything else? Is your voice coming, ma'am? No. Oh, all right. Let's go and find out what was happening elsewhere. Where's the other ghost? Where's he gone? He's departed. He's on it. Oh. Shall we say a big R ah as he goes? A nice big R ah for the ghost who fell. Come on. Was Judy's time beaten, I ask, Paul Daniels? Well, yes, I think it was. I mean, look at this. It's an incredible game here because although they did an incredible 18 seconds, they were pipped at the post by a platinum-plated plutocrat. And they got in there 17 seconds, and it just fell off. Oh so what I'll do is I confirm that time. Now, as you can see now, because they played the joker and came third, they get four points, and here, sadly, never finished. Ah... Oh. 
I want to get one, one, one shield on there for that. Shame about that. And, of course, these were the winners with four. I mean, they, they get the full time there. 17 seconds. Great winners. Well, that was, was Tamara, yes. Never look. Played the Joker. Yes. They get six. They're the highest scorers in this. The World Wildlife Fund on the green. So we're going Aha. on. And now, the running total in the competition. It stands like this. The Duchess of York in the lead with ten points. The Princess Royal with nine. The Duke of York with eight. And Prince Edward with five. And we've had four jokers played. And now, good people of Alton, prepare yourselves for merriment with McDonald Restaurant's Knock a Night. Thank you, Aled. Knock a Night. And how do we do it? With me on stage, the divine Fiona Fullerton. Well, now you have a little megaphone with you. Absolutely. Can you hear me, Gary? Can we hear me, Gary? So I go down and find out who Gary is. You've already seen him this afternoon in a partial state of disrobement. But welcome again. A round of applause for Gary Lineker. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, Gary Lineker has the big black bag in front of him. And before me, he has knights to knock down. Eight knights. And the only way he can do it is by obeying the lovely Fiona's instruction. But first of all, we have another joker, the second royal joker. A little applause, please, for the Duchess of York. <laughs> Exhort your companions, ma'am. <laughs> well, OK, you've seen, you've seen the challenge. Gary Lineker puts on the helmet. Paul Daniels. Yeah, that's it, great. Master magician. Can he see Paul? Yeah, no, he can't see a thing. He can't see a thing, right. Neither can I. Well, don't blow my head off. The last time the gun went off, it singed my eyebrows. Oh, something? yes, it did. It blew them off. You got oh, a minute eyelashes. and a half. Minute and a half. Three, two, two one. one. Boom. Okay, Gary, pull it right back. Pull it right back. And push it really hard. Push it, push it, push it. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, that's Please. wonderful. It's your left. It's behind you, Gary. It's behind you, behind Gary. Behind you. It's behind, behind. you. Behind you. It's in front of you, Gary. It's coming towards you. There it is. Okay, pull it back. Pull it back. Now push it. Push it. Push it straight. Fantastic. Really hard. A bit to your left. A bit to your left. Fantastic. Push it hard. Yes! Yes! Woo! Okay, you got it, Gary. Okay, push it really hard. Push it straight from there. Really hard. Come towards me. Keep it straight. No, to your left. To your left. Ah! Oh. Okay, to your left, to your left, Gary, it's behind you, it's behind you, to your left, it's in front of you, Gary, it's in front of you, it's coming towards you, to your left, to your left, to your left, to your left, it's behind you, it's behind you, to your right, to your right, to your right, there, there, it's in front of you, it's in front of you, to your left, to your left, to your left, to your left, it's behind you, to your right, to your right, to your right, behind you, there it is, come on. Okay, it's to your left, to your left, to your left, to your left, there it is, okay. Now pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, push to your left, to your left, to your left, to your left. Oh. Gary, you've got four. Round of applause, please, for Fiona. And Gary. Well, that was a super run there by, uh, by Gary and Fiona and Paul. Put up the good news. Well, the good news is... Please. Well, look at that. I mean, that was incredible. We've seen the rehearsals for this. That's a good score. It was Five in... nights down the swanee. Absolutely. And now let's come to heat two. Here we go. The ball of mystery, the mystery person. It's going to start in about okay, three seconds. Up. Three, two, one. Run, 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 run. That's it. It's coming back Her towards you. Stay where you are. It's there. From the United You've States of America. A superhero. Turn, watch, turn, watch. Push hard, that's it. Oh. Yay, coming back towards you, catch it now. <laughs> turn watch, turn watch, stop. Run forward, run, 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 run. It's oh, coming back towards you. That night, catch the third night should have gone down, but he's trapped turn, under the first turn of the fallen. Turn ring slightly, slightly ring. Push. It's coming back. Oh. Ring, 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 that's it. Turn, watch, turn, watch, run! That's run, that's it! It's coming back towards you! Ring, ring, ring! Good! Run 
straight. Got five down. Three Run to go. Run straight towards me. Run. That's yeah. it. Good. You're doing well. You're doing well. Keep running towards me. Towards me. Towards me. Good. Seven out of eight. Catch it. You can. Good. You've got it. Run towards me. Towards me. Run straight run at me. Position. That's it. Stop! You've done it! You've done it! You've it's got the finished. Ball out. The game's over. <laughs> Jenny, come down and, and embrace bees because that's that is a world record. There we go. Come here. Now then, Jenny. Marvelous, marvelous performance. It's Walter Payton, of course, of Chicago Bears. The greatest American footballer in the world, Walter. Oh, you can't, you know, the people are going to see, you could see through that mask. Tell us you didn't. I could. What I did was I lined myself up before we started, and I just pushed it straight, and I knew it would come back. So that's what I did. Just raised my arms out, and it came back. Absolutely marvelous. Ladies and gentlemen, Walter Payton and Jenny Agata, please. Round of applause. Well, the audience loved it. And there it is, there's the answer, he's put it up. The Princess Royals team. One minute 16. One minute 16 for eight. Evelyn Hughes comes in to celebrate. And we come to hate three. All stand by. Three, two, one. Remember your left, keep going. Push left, 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 go, right. The Mystery go Knights back, go back, go back, getting go back, one and knocks back. over another one. The bag did behind it for him, you, I think. Behind you, coming behind you. Coming that behind you, coming behind you, now, 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 now. Right. Keep left, keep straight ahead now, hard, hard, hard. Right, go back, go back, keep to your left, to your left, to your left, to your left. Behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you, behind you, coming now, coming now. Get ready, grab, go. Right, there it is. Straight ahead, straight ahead, left, 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 left. Yes, back, back, stop, 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 left, left. Straight ahead, come right, come right, come right. Straight ahead, straight ahead and hard, 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 really hard. Hard, hard, hard. That's it. Go back. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Coming behind you, behind you, behind you. Ready now, now. Stop. There. Straight ahead, straight ahead, straight ahead. Left, 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 left. Go back. Stop now. Stop. Grab, 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 grab. <laughs> come forward, come forward. Straight ahead. Left, 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 left. Go back. Stop, stop. Grab left, left, left. Stop, coming behind you, behind Kiri, you, behind you. Kanawa, coming, ready, grab left, right. right. Coming, come forward, come forward, right. Go quick, right, 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 there. Behind you, behind you, you behind you. Stop, grab now, grab now, okay. Right, left, left, straight ahead, straight ahead, hard, 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 hard. That's <laughs> and let us reveal the identity. Duncan Goodyear, ladies and gentlemen, Kiri, and on the scoreboard. Wait a minute, we have... The one he knocked over by himself, will you? Yes, because I was Can in we... deadline with it, and the ball swung over, Can and we... it would have knocked he it over. Can we just... Yes, he did, and the ball swung straight over him and the knight. It was in deadline, and I was judging it, Mom, so sorry about Is that. Of... Is this an official <laughs> protest, Mom? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> There'll be protests about you, Meatloaf. No, not yet. Wait. Wait until Heat 4, right. Paul. Well, as you saw then, there's some very posh people objecting around here. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was very low key. <laughs> very low key. But in truth, I was in deadline with the knight as he stumbled backwards. We'd, and, and the ball went straight to the line. It would have knocked it over. We've given him the six. On the top there, five down here, all down in 116 to beat, and the Joker goes next on the shelter for the homeless. That's the Duchess of York's charity, which you'll see. She's a lot to do, but the Joker's on it. Paul. What, what an actor. He is. Three, two, Go. one. Go straight ahead, Mimi. So Go going for, for the Duchess straight of York. Ahead. Yeah, you've got it. Okay, come in. And come straight back. Yeah, yeah, yeah you've got it. Okay, 12 o'clock, Mimi. Straight ahead, 12 o'clock. Yeah, oh. you've got it, Mimi. Yeah, you. Oh, try that one again. Oh. Quick, 12 o'clock, Meaty. Oh. <laughs> Meaty. Meaty.
Many, six o'clock. Many, no, six o'clock meeting. It's in front of you. It's in front of you. Go, yeah, you got it. You got, got it. it. Now, 12 o'clock meeting. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock meeting. 12 o'clock. the cannon. Knock the castle down. Meeting. Meeting straight ahead. 12 o'clock meeting. Meeting. 12 o'clock. Meeting. 12 o'clock. Yeah. Yes, meeting. It's catch it. It's coming back at Five you. To go. Okay, meeting. Now, meeting. 11 o'clock meeting. That's yes. No, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Go for it. 12 o'clock. Meeting. Go. Yeah. Coming back at you. Try that again. Try that yeah, again, meaty. 12 o'clock. Yeah, yes. go for it. Meaty, go. Yes. Yes. Got it. Six. Try that once more. Right. The yeah. On okay. You're, you're right. Set, set, set. set. It's coming back at you. Six o'clock. Okay. Three o'clock, meaty. Nine o'clock, meaty. It's behind you, meaty. That's it. You got it. Okay. Here's set. Go. Right. Right. 12 o'clock, meaty. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. That's it, you've got it. Yeah, catch it. Okay, it's behind you, Meaty. Wait for it to go. Six o'clock and catch it, Meaty. It's coming at you, six o'clock, Meaty. That's it, you've got it. Ah. Oh, now then. Meepo. Well? They saved their joker at the last breath, you know, Paul. They absolutely did. And in the McDonald's restaurants, knock a night, I have to tell you that the green team are, are the last ones. They've got five down, so they only get one shield for that. Now, this came second, the Yellow Team International Project. They've got two shields for this. Uh, now, actually, this team came second, but they played the joker, you see. Yes, they've they got the three joker. points, doubling up to six. Doubling up to six. And this, at one minute 16, incredible as it may seem, they knocked them all down, saved the children, Four marks. And so in the lead now, with two jokers played, the Duchess of York with 16 points, the Princess Royal with 13, the Duke of York with nine, and Prince Edward with seven points. And on with the tournament. Once again, we summon forth more hardy souls to attempt the Aster Marathon. And yet again, a gobbit of merriment, in which hardy souls attempt to essay a passage across an aquatic conduit. Let us meet the team. Ah, bless Hello, you. Lang. Virginia Lang, what do you think of your chances? Good. Red team. Yes, yeah, look. Red team. Yeah. Well, the enthusiasm is catching. Thank you, my dear. And Sunil Gavaskar. Yes, sir. What do you think of this? Oh, this looks pretty interesting. Well, if you do this, you'll be out on bail. <laughs> be out on bail. What a rotten gag. Anthony Andrews, actor extraordinaire. This is your big moment. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I think I know, sir, do you? And last but never least, Jackie Stewart. Now, what do you think of your chances with this fine day? Well, I don't like the water. My team were going to withdraw because the pool wasn't heated, but we've chosen to participate for what, sport's sake. What wondrous athletes. Right, off you go. On the groaning table this time, that sardonic scaramouche, John Cleese. <laughs> the ever-ravishing Toya Wilcox. <laughs> Lord Knock, may I commence the second marathon? Certainly. Off you go. Go. What a mess. Come on, Virginia, you can do it, love. Wonderful. Yes, you're nearly there. Oh, oh what? You didn't last long, anyway. Andrews, a first-class ham being hit by a ham. Oh, no. Tarry, sir, tarry in your endeavour. Those legs are tongue point to a sparrow. Keep it up. Well done, Andrews. You got the salt, Andrews. Well done. Right, well done. <laughs> Splendid effort. One. Uh, one. One. Starting off slow. There wasn't time for making an opinion. One. Then, but then we were. One. Off you, you go, say. Andrew. One. Well done, Jack. Hit oh, up. splendid, Jack. Hit Wonderful. Up. What a move. You may as well have started in the water. Come on, Virginia. Imagine on the back of a gelding. Well, don't let it be. You grip it tightly. That's it. Go on, you're going to do it. Not long now. Oh, no, you're not. Andrews is trying once again to go across the log. It's not a very formidable effort. Looks like a palsied frog. Come on, Andrews, you can do it. Your agent's in. Come on. One more. Don't give up. Just a few. Come along. Oh, you're doing it well, lad. Oh, the tips, tips. That is the end, and they've got the 
And that's the end of the second to. heat of the Asda Marathon. And Must you cheat? One, one it is. One it is. To the other side. One. Where is it? Where is it? So be it. So be it. <laughs> And now, noble gentlefolk, a romantic interlude as we join the Canada Life Assurance Lovers. Thank you, Arid. And what a divine story it is. The story of Romeo and Juliet, the two Juliets on the balcony, Jane Seymour and Annika Rice waiting for their Romeos. Night's candles are burnt out and a russet dawn stands tiptoe on the sleepy <laughs> mountain tops. The audience are by now blowing kisses at our two Juliets. Noisily. But, where are the two Romeos? Enter, please, for the Duchess of York and the Duke of York. Griff, Reese jones and Christopher. And, what is more, ebulliently played by His Royal Highness the Prince Edward, the Joker. Why, sir, are you so confident, I must ask? This is, this is for the second heat. The second, second heat, of course, but who is playing it for you? We're playing Barry against, and Tessa, the lovely Tessa, is going to be on the balcony. Two world champions. Absolutely. No wonder, sir, you are playing your joke. We'll get it, we'll get it right this time. Thank you very much indeed. And now, boys, to your positions, please. You know what you have to do to deliver three roses across the icy pool by means of the raft without falling in the icy water. One rose at a time between the teeth, up the balcony by means of a knotty throat. Four. Yes, they have to pass it over the top of the balcony. No throwing of your roses. No cheating. And then you get back and get your more light. You know what I mean? Oh. All right. Right, here we go. Three, two, two and a half one. minutes from... <laughs> Across the pool. The rose between the teeth. Biff <laughs> <laughs> Reese jones And Christopher. And it's going to be over in, in no time at all. But of course, the game ends. The game's not over because the lovers have to plight their trope on dry land. Annika Rice is coming down via the rope. Come down by the rope, Annika, by the rope. It's by the rope. A penalties, penalties there, penalties. Penalties, it's by the rope. Jane Seymour is doing the game properly. Jane Seymour. Jane, come to Christopher. Hello, hello, dive. The dress is wet, but the hair is still intact. Hollywood, are you noticing? Paul Daniels is back, he adjudicates. The way it is at the moment, we have added a 10 second penalty to Madam Annika. Madam Annika Rice gets a 10 second, are you sure? A 10 second penalty. So we have that. to put a minus 10 we on there. We will now go away and calculate it, but uh, the way it's worked out on time, yes. she's still in the lead. Well, let's get on with the second heat then. Right, away the Jeff, heat. away Paul, we've reset the roses and we're ready to go. Would you welcome please the man aptly chosen for this game by the Princess Royal, Mr. Tom Jones. <laughs> <laughs> And the 85 World Featherweight title, carrying the colours of the Prince Edward and the Joker, Barry McGuigan. Roses in the teeth. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes you've got. Three, two, one. Barry off and running. It's one each. Tom Jones. All muscle, all voice, all Welsh heart. But Barry McGuigan in the lead for the Joker. It's all on time now. But equal is Tom. Tom's going well. Oh. Tom is really going for it. <laughs> Come on now, look at this, Sheena Easton. What was it all on? It's the Joker. It's the Joker on it and... Jessica Sanderson and Barry. <laughs> Don't run away. 
Don't run away, don't run away, don't run away. Come here, come here with me. No, Cliff Richard's making a protest. Cliff, what is, what's, what's the protest? I've changed my mind, it's all right. <laughs> oh, thank you. No, 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 he wasn't out of the water, she was down. No, no, he was out. But Barry McGuigan and Tessa Sanderson fought a very clean fight. Didn't the audience? But now look at this big hunk here. No, come here. I want... oh, no, 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 no. Because he's rather special as uh, is Tom Jones, our own, our own boy. <laughs> Where are we up to now? Are you coming back to live with us? Are you staying in the United States? Uh, we're a bit of both. I live partly in the States and partly here. And how come you, uh, you are taking part in our grand knockout tournament? Well, because it's, uh, there are four uh, charities that need to be supported. So I thought I'd help out. Now, your son, Mark, told me this morning you were more nervous about appearing on stage here with us, Mad Lot, than you were about doing a concert at Wembley. Well, it, well it's easier to sing than to climb ropes <laughs> with roses in your mouth. Come on, give a big, big round of applause for the one only Tom Jones. Thank you. <laughs> and now... And now... And now, Paul... Takes a bit of sorting out, but you've done it. Come on. Yes, we've sorted it out uh, to the best of our ability because there was a very strange thing happened here. Actually, as you can see, the blue team has only scored one because it took one minute, two seconds to complete the course. And the green team here have scored three because they took 50 seconds. But if you see this, this is very sad because here we have the undoubted winner with uh, four on the clock there, 46 on the clock and four points. But look at this. This could have been the winner. But they tried two little fiddles. Very sad. They tried to fiddle. Oh, Are no, you telling no, no. me? I'm sure it was just the Barry heat of the moment. The heat of the moment. Playing a joke of fiddle. He had a false start, and the lady didn't wait till he was clear of the water. We had to penalise him a total of eight seconds, and they are now with the joker. They've got four as well. They are joint winners on this game, but they've played a joker in the Canada Life Assurance Lovers. So let's go through it. Prince Edward picks up four points. The Princess Royal picks up four. Uh, the Duchess of York picks up one, and the Duke of York three. <laughs> Sweet friends, on a day such as today, there are, of course, no winners and no losers. There are just a bunch of people who turn out to be very good, and another bunch who turn out to be completely and utterly useless. It is my duty as Lord of Noct to offer some advice to the captains of those teams that may be lagging behind. Try gentleness, try encouragement, try discussion of tactics. And if they fail, try a good, firm clip round the ear with a wet gauntlet. Thank you. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, pray silence as eight noblemen determine who shall be Harrod's king of the castle. And here we come, the kings of the castle, with the four royal team captains, eight very famous personages, In the gigantic king of the castle costume, the year 1587. In this year, Mary, Queen of Scots, had already lost her head in more ways than one, and our giants will lose their heads as of now. So we stop and we form a semicircle. The royal team captains and our four dukes line up the four would-be kings. Only one will be king. On round one, two kings will be eliminated. You must be extremely confident, sir. I am reasonably confident on this morning's rehearsal. Yes, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Anything can happen in these games. <laughs> and you, you make it happen. Right. All right, sir. There's a joker. That's a joker, and we're ready to start. Yellow! Right, we stand back. The last two will be eliminated. The great king of the castle race, Paul. are gone. It's all on the green, the two greens. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's the two blues. <laughs> Let's find out the identity first of all. <laughs> the two blues who've gone. Brian Cooper and Mel Smith, you've gone out in the last... Mel! Did you realise you were headbutting your compatriot? It's a, it's a lovely way to meet new people, isn't it? <laughs> we, did, we did so well this morning, I can't believe it. 
Oh, I'm absolutely gutted, Governor. You know what I mean? Well, you, you were fighting with him to get through the hole. I know. Oh, it was him, was it? Yes. I wonder who it was. <laughs> <laughs> Bad blow for the Dutch of New York there in the lead. But Paul? Well, I've got to tell you there, you can see the blue team yes. have only scored three on this game so far because they get, went through the gate last. Sorry. And my knight and I will fight any man that says different. Right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Oh, look at the greens, look at the greens going. The two greens are knocking each other out. Oh! <laughs> Cheating! I saw it! I've seen everything! He's, going, he's down to his jock strap! No, you can't! Well, that was about. I don't know how you're going to sort that one out. Uh, <laughs> well, who was eliminated there? A score for. Well, did you see that? I mean, the, the yellow showed great initiative there and uh, bundled through first. So the red collect four here and the yellow have got the three, I'm afraid. I mean, it was no, a, uh, a whole hoo-ha at yeah, the Yes, the last two to go is yellow and That's a red. That's the decision. But at the top end, with a bit of mayhem, I'm going to investigate. There's a lot of cheating here. A lot of malpractice. Michael Palin's in. Sir, what is happening? Some yellow man, some yellow man came along and knocked my green man over. Clear the field! Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. A shoelace is undone. <laughs> Three, two. The Duke of York one, is standing in front of his. Oh, 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 no one. I don't believe it. I... <laughs> A protest on that rerun because the starter started it without us being ready. Oh, can I have it official again? The starter started that race without the greens being ready, and you were standing in front of one of the greens. So we would like to rerun that race. Paul, uh, did you notice that the one that wasn't ready was actually first down the field? Did you notice that? No, I wasn't. You were. I wasn't. You, no, you were right in front, and, and you came and he fell over. Uh, which is very sad. He was, the, he was the leader all the way down. And as you know, Stuart, beloved one, I received my orders from above and somebody said they have what to go. The Duchess of York we is coming in. Protest. We support his protest here. Yeah. Right. And, I, yeah. and I suspect you'll find the crowd will support our protest too. Right then. Who says that we should have a rerun? No! And the sign aside. Yes! Do the eyes have it? No! The judges go into a huddle. Gary Lineker was hot off the blocks, but it means two greens have gone. Listen. The judges say no rerun. <laughs> Who said knockout was all fun and games? It's for real, this, isn't it? Yeah. You, you see, the problem here yes. is some people believe this is real. It is. Yes, now look, there'll be no reruns or anything like that. It was a fair and square, they had enough time to get ready, and they've gone through fifth and sixth, okay, making a total of 11 here. And that's their joker played as well. So now, let's look at them now. Who's for Emlyn Hughes? <laughs> Who's for Steve Cram? Clear the field, stand by. Three, two, one. Steve Cram in the yellow. Emlyn Hughes in the red. Emlyn Hughes and Steve Cram. <laughs> Emlyn playing tactics. It's going to be Emlyn and he's up. No, it could be. <laughs> no touching, no touching. He's a, what is, it's a trial of strength. Ah! 
<laughs> Is Emily News still inside there? <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, crazy horse, crazy horse, you never know when you're beaten, do you? I wasn't going to let him beat me. You're like Red Run, you're impossible. And Steve Cram's always as bad, well done. A round of applause for two great contestants there, come on, please. <laughs> so now, another concluding round, fantastic match there between Emlyn and uh, Steve. The Harrods King of the Castle game, Paul, your final adjudication. Well, to arrive at it, you have to add these two together, of course, which we've done on your behalf, sir. Thank you. And as you can see, the blue team have come in last with only one. And here we have the yellow team. They were second from last. They've got two. The Save the Children from actually won with, with four again. But this is the team that's come on with the most on the scoreboard at the moment because they played the Joker. Ladies they Joker. came second. They, we had them together. They got 11. They've got three each. And, of course, that makes them six. And the Duke of York is... Four. Duke of York is still... Could you, could you just palm that number four and put it back on, Oh, please? all right, then, yes. You must have a number four somewhere. I used to do the weather, you know. Oh, right, and, there and the tournament, as it stands, boiling up to a climax. The Princess Royal in the lead with 21 points. The Duke of York and the Duchess of York tied on 18 points apiece, and Prince Edward on 13. And now, fair and esteem gathering, the penultimate challenge in the Aster Marathon. Yes, indeed, and yet another covey of heroic chaps and ladies will ferment if they can upon this day across this piece of timber that crosses water which is so filthy by this time that even the bacteria has been immunised. Let us meet the team. Judy Simpson. All right, Judy? Hello, Well, it's pretty ha hairy, as you see. What do you think? I think it looks very cold. Oh, no. It looks extremely cold, but all the very best. You do your best, Judy. <laughs> Thank you. Michael Palin, Hello, wonderful. You've been a stalwart today, Michael. Nice what do you think of our nice chances stalwart. upon this day? Pretty good. I think we've been training intensively for eight minutes this morning, so I think we're um, pretty confident, Les. Well, I saw you in the bar where you were laid. <laughs> All the best, Michael. <laughs> Nigel Mansell. Yep. Just say what you think about this. Um, well, we're doing his pressures on his tyres, and they, they blew the gun off, didn't they? Good. Left him in the stocks. That's a dreadful thing to do. <laughs> you may get your own back on this town. George, listen to me. Hey, Total false start. We've been run out of, practically run out of town. I don't know why all this cheating's going on. No, I can't. Do you mean for, to tell me on the day like this there's been cheating going on? Yeah, we're about to make it up, though. There's nothing right, George, can do about off you go. nothing you can do about Good luck. it. Sat at the groaning table. Well, we know when to start. Viv Richards. Don't get three bangs. With that most beautiful of ladies, Jane Not Seymour. Yet. Not yet. Now, no. Lord Knock, do I have your permission? Absolutely. Sir? Let the game commence. Here we go. And it's a good start by George Lazenby, whose legs look as though they should have a message tied to him. Go on, George. Yes, he's angry, this man. There's no way he's going into the depth. Good. Well done, John. Well done. Well, what well, splendid effort. Mansell started slowly. He's groping to a halt. Yes, he seems a trifle wary of this, but it's a good effort. It's a superb effort, and he's a guy. Now, this doesn't look too good here. Yeah, never mind. Palin seems to look... <laughs> oh, well. Oh! How's she doing? Come on, Judy. Well done, Judy. Like an athletic frog. Well done. Well done, Judy. Well done. Well done, indeed. Super. Come on, George. Once known as 003. Come on. Come on, George, you can do it. What a... You're leaving something behind, George. God knows what it is. Well, George. Come on, Nigel. Three. 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 Well, no. Three. Keep it up. Keep on. No. And he's failing again. Well, now he's on a... Come, Come on, on, Michael. On, Grip it tightly oh, with the legs, lad. Keep going. Keep going. Keep better. Oh, oh, oh. No. Oh, come on, Judy. Oh, she's superb. Judy knows exactly where she's going. She knows exactly where she's going. Come on. Keep going. Well done. Keep no. Hold on. Goodbye, Judy. The undefeated lays in me once again. 
Come along, George. Oh, it's over. Come on, George. Come on, George. Come on, George. Watch the butter. Is it finished? Stop, stop, stop. Three. Right, four, how many have we got? Four, four, four. Four. Ladies and gentlemen, the green team have scored four points. Four Hooray. points. Four points. <laughs> Tonight, a mighty banquet shall be prepared. Lord Nock has summoned the help of the Britannia Building Society cooks. And between the two enormous cooking pots, through the fire and the brimstone, the red-cloaked figure of Her Royal Highness, Princess Royal, bearing the joker to mighty cheers from our humble audience. This is a joker. Yes, good guess. But well, you've been at me all afternoon, instructing me in the art of knockout. <laughs> oh, no, I wouldn't do anything like that. Well, let's have a look at your cast list. I was just wondering why you're playing the Joker on, the, on this particular game. I don't know. It was, I was told that we had to get it in before the end, so... <laughs> <laughs> There's not many left. <laughs> yes, but I, I see Emily Hughes and Debbie Flintoff and Virginia Lang against uh, Griff Rees jones Margot Kidder and Fiona Footer. Now, you must fancy your chances, someone. Well, I'm not doing it, but they seem to think they might be able to catch them. Well, we wish you good luck. Thank you very much indeed. A little applause for Royal Highness. Yes. Well, a lot of applause, then. A lot of applause. Much applause. The game will unfold. I'm not going to say any more on Paul Danielson's gun. We are going to get run over. We stay here. I'm going to fire this gun and run myself. Yes. The vegetables, the cooks are coming. Three, two, one, go! So the two onions, the two leeks, the two potatoes, for each team, a red cook comes out right away. A red cook, that's Virginia Leng, and a yellow cook. Now, each team has to collect just one vegetable. One potato, one onion, one leek. So the red team now have got to get in their potato. So what have we got? We've got Debbie Flintoff after the onion. We've got Sarah Hardcastle who's obtained the vegetable. Debbie Flintoff against a, a rather nifty pair of vegetables. She's got the onion. Debbie's got the onion, and when it's touched, it must lie down. And for the yellow team, for Prince Edward, we've got Tessa. She's got a leak, so it's neck and neck. It's Prince Edward, the Princess Royal. Debbie Flintoff and Tessa, and it goes in the pot. And Eddie Grant, Eddie Grant with his dreadlocks, she's off to the ball. It's Edmund Hughes versus Eddie Grant. Oh, 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 dear me! Oh, dear me! I feel sorry for the leak. Leave the leak alone. It's Griffrey Jones. Oh, I don't know who I give up. Oh. Come on, Eddie. Eddie Grant brings an onion, puts it in the pot. And as soon as it gets in, the game finishes. Come on, Tess, Sarah. Oh. Well, I can't believe this. Ginny, she was off the block so f you were off the block so fast, you'd captured the first vegetable in about five seconds flat, and Emily finishes it all off as he always does. Likes cooking. Hey, well we'll have to see how the joke goes. Okay, Paul, let's have the scoreboard. Well, as you can see, the same the children from the, are in the lead. They're on the joke, and they've done one all three. Yellow team there, 129. Yeah. But we knocked a little bit off this score because the vegetable didn't die immediately. Of course. This is a very fair score. Absolutely. So now we have the Duchess of York against the Duke oh. of York. Let's go and start. And on off. the gun, it will start. Three, yes. Yes. three two, one. I see the legs of Steve Cramer and Onion. There's no doubt about that. Pam Stevenson. Pam Stevenson and Cliff Richard. Yes? Pamela Stevenson running for the Blues against Cliff Richard and John Travolta. <laughs> it's John Travolta by the Duke of York. Pam Stevenson, the one and only John Travolta, the star, the superstar. John Travolta delivers the goods, pops it in the pot. 
releases Annika Rice. Going for the Duke of York. Who goes for the Duchess? Meatloaf. No, it ain't Meatloaf. Who's going for the Duke of York? It's, uh, it's Gail Greeno. <laughs> what's, she, what's she aiming for? Which stages was she aiming for? Go for the potato. We need the potato now. Whoa. This is Gail, is it? This is Gail, yeah. Uh, what's happened to the onion? Oh, look, that's unfair. The, the onion's hiding behind the tent over there. That's out of bounds. The onion, Gail. And she got him, she got him, yes, Annika Rice has got a potato. She's fell, Sheena Easton. Here comes Gail Greeno. Come on, Gail, make haste. Make haste. We need the onion. <laughs> And it's the least got so meatloaf's released. It's meatloaf. And I don't think meatloaf will ever catch that onion, I'll tell you. This is gonna go all night. <laughs> it's heavy metal. It's heavy metal against Olympic gold. Come on, meatloaf! Go on, meaty! Oh. So, Paul, there we are with the time of Prince Edward 129, for the Princess Royal 103, <clears throat> and for the Duchess of York out of time. Yes. The Duke of York is 159, and the awarding of the points as thus. Well, as you can see, here the meatloaf is still running, so they've only got one there. Yeah. Um, of course, the World Wildlife Fund have got two here, and in the Britannia Building Cross, uh, Building Society Cooks Tour, we've got three for the yellow team, but Princess Royal did it right. Played the Joker, doubled the score, got eight on that scoreboard. Isn't that And fantastic? as a result, the tournament now stands at the Princess Royal in the lead handsomely with 29 points. The Duke of York with 20, the Duchess of York with 19, and Prince Edward, who were firm favourites at the start, with 16. Alas, an interloper is in our midst, the worst for ale. Ladies and gentlemen, let us observe the uninvited guest. Without more ado, let us release this uninvited guest and don't blow my head off again, <laughs> Paul. Three, two, one. And he comes, here's the drunk. <laughs> Reeling from side to side. And something magic happens to those chairs. Operated by Barry, Christopher, John and Kiri. <laughs> And there's no... <laughs> and he's, he's made it safely. And he comes... Viv, down the stairs, you've got to come. Down the stairs, and sit on the stool, and the game finishes. The game finishes. The uninvited guest, but... Come on, boy! And you've got to sit down, and the game finishes as of... <laughs> he has to sit on. <laughs> right, come on. Take the costume off, Louis, and let's see who's in. Come on. Take off his costume. He did a good run for you. The one and only Viv Richards. Yeah. Super champ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> OK. It's Meatloaf's coming in. Three, two, one. Tamara McKinney comes in. Meatloaf's in. Krista Burr's in. Michael Brand and Steve Cawthon on the first chair. And it's a big, strong, drunken guest. And there's no doubt about it. He's through in no time. It's all against the clock. Down the stairs. This is Prince Edward. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. On the chair, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, and the up. Superman, take off the costume. And once again, it's Duncan Goodyear. We're ready, Paul. Are we all on standby? Yes, we are. Three, two, one, go for it. Oh, it's Michael Palin. Played a few funny games this time. He's on the first chair. And George Lazenby, Griffiths Jones, Judy Simpson, and the Duke of York, and they intend to bring him down. <laughs> but he's through, it's a great run. The marvelous run by the Princess Royals team. From the front, from the front. Sit down, Tom. Come on, off with the costume. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Jones. It's not unusual. Hey, oh boy. Hey, Three, some game. Two, one. Tactics playing a part here. The Princess Royal at the back of the game, exhorting them. Oh, oh dear. Bad tactics there. This could be the winning time. The winning time could be. No doubt about that. The comes forward and shakes Steve Podvorsky's hand, and that could be the record tie, the world record tie. I should have put the joker on that, shouldn't I? You should. <laughs> that was a small miscalculation. So, it's fairly obvious that uh, Steve Podvorsky won the, uh, the great drunken race. Yes, and what a lightning game. Yes, you can see here the blue team came in last week, 45 seconds. And that was fast, but they only got one shield for that. And of course, where, where we go from there is here to 40 seconds and the red team, they got two shields for that. And International Project, the yellow team, got 20 seconds on there. They got, so that's three points. But the winner, I mean, look at this, four points for the World Wildlife Fund, 19 incredible <laughs> seconds. Oh, here we go. The Princess Royal in the lead with 31 points. The Duke of York with 24, Duchess of York with 20, and Prince Edward with 19. My Lord Nook now calls upon the final challengers, brave and true, for the Aster Marathon. Thank thee, Harold. And without preamble, let us meet the team for the fourth heat of the Asda Marathon. First of all, Gail Greenough. Now, what do you think of the problems here? Well, I understand the water's pretty cold, so I don't think I really want to fall in today. No, I don't think you will. <laughs> that smile, you won't. Let's have a look. Brian? Brian Cooper. What thinkest thou? Uh, I figure uh, my dogs would have a better chance than me, but I'm going to try to walk across the wall. Don't worry, the dogs have already done things, in it? Yeah, right. Dogs. Mel Smith, a noble name with a noble face. Tell me what you think, Mel. No, don't it's, better, it's better than playing a potato. <laughs> it's better than playing a potato. <laughs> you're still you're in the chips. And of course it is Ben Cross. Thank you very much, Les. Okay, yes. Ben, what do you think? Uh, I think I'm going to get very wet. Thank, Thank you. Well. Right, on the team, you're seated at the groaning table, we have Judy Simpson, maybe, and George Lazenby, actor extraordinaire. Lord Nock, may I continue with the marathon? The lady. Go, 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 go. Off. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Gail. Oh, no. Oh, whoa, indeed, whoa. Brian Cooper's making pretty good progress there. Come on, Brian. Grip the pole well with the lower extra. Mel Smith, that fine figure of a man. Is it a meat pudding? No. Go, oh, Mel! Oh, God. Ben Cross, what a wonderful figure of a man. Look at those legs. There should be a message tied to one. Go on! Well done, Ben. Not giving up, Gail is continuing. You're going to do it, Gail. You can do it. This is your big chance. This is it. Well done. <laughs> Brian, well done. Keep it up. Look at that. Sure footed as a mountain goat. Watch the splinters. Well done, lad. And it's the mind bent. <laughs> <laughs> Gail, oh, tis enough. And two, not the double blue scores. team have finished with two. No double scores. Thank you very much. Now we transfer the points to the master scoreboard, which is yellow team with four, red with one, green with four, and of course blue with two. <laughs> Assembled loyal servants, our tournament would not be complete this day without our final game, the joust. So, high drinks on this last game. They have to go down the arena, towed by the two boys, knocking down the targets with their lance. Four targets, there will be loud explosions, they get to the bottom, and then they come back in a most mysterious way. Paul, and we're ready, we're off and running. The last game. And as we go into the last game, the Princess Royal with 32, the Duke of York 28, Prince Edward 23, the Duchess of York 22. The targets are going down, everyone's knocked down by Prince Edward. Prince Edward's team won in the lead from the Princess Royal. 
they turned round a damsel has to jump on the back of the horse for Prince Edward's it is Sarah Hardcastle she must get on the horse she's on the horse oh look at this the Princess Royal Anthony Andrews with Virginia Lane oh look at this the Princess Royal coming in first to finish first oh I can't believe it from Prince Edward and the Duchess of York that was Steve Cawthon with Jane Seymour. What a lovely couple. A protest again. Methinks another protest from whom? Well, now then, the result of the last game, Paul. Well, as you can see, it was yes. very straightforward. Didn't bother to time it because it was very clear cut. I mean, look at the positions one, two, three, and four, which of course means in reverse order the World Wildlife Fund got one shield, and of course the. Uh, uh, well, well, well. A little cheer for that, yes. yes. What about the blue team? Yeah, they've got two. Put me off with that cheer. And the other team got three. But see, the children came home again in the lead. Again. Four shields on their points. The Princess Hand Royal came Hand home, championed yet again. Hand so let me have the final scores. The final score! And handsome winners with 36 points. Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal! And now let's have the finale. <laughs> of Knock shall now award the prize. Now, now, it is always sad to have to pick out a winner when all have behaved with such consummate absurdity. <laughs> but let the losers take comfort in the thought that they will never, ever look so foolish again. But a victor there must be, and myself and Lady Knock are proud to present this glorious trophy to the proud winner here on behalf of the Save the Children Fund, Her Royal Highness, the Princess Royal. May she, thank you, may she carry it back with pride to her faithful troops and let them never forget the day they came to Alton dressed up as headless men and giant vegetables <laughs> and won a mighty victory. Your Royal Highness, many congratulations and farewell to you all. <laughs>